So a bit ago, Jagex finally added the ability for you to save presets on your invocation combos. And yeah, there's quite a few slots, so I can fill like a 300, a 350, a 425, or even a 500. So I'm just setting all that stuff up. I'm pretty sure if I were to do 500, these uh, that I selected on the screen would be the invocation list for the 500. But we still have quite a bit ways to go to do the 500. I really do want to complete, of course, for the fan cosmetic eventually. But yeah, we do need to prepare and we do need to practice. So look forward to it. All right, guys, I have almost 100 brimstone keys. And these things could give a lot of dragon arrowheads. So 100 should give me a, quite a few because I really need dragon arrows. I want to eventually try to get the level 500 a TOA done, which would give me the thing cosmetic, and that'll be a you know a really nice goal. I don't know, it's just been fun chasing for those challenges, but I can't really chase it right now with amethyst arrows. It was really hard to do 425 with amethyst, so yeah, let's uh, get 100 and open it up, see how many dragon arrows I can get. Okay, boys, we got an episode demon tash, should be easy brimstone keys, but I do want to test out some max hits here. Because the ward is a new 5% magic damage. Look at that. 41% instead of the original 36 for Slayer. So let's go ahead and test out. Oh, I can't drain that, but whatever. Ice Barrage, 48. So I'm assuming Blood Barrage is a 47. Holy shit, 48. I can almost three shot the Abyssal Demons. We don't have the ward on anymore. This should be a 46. Yeah, two max hits with the shield. Actually insane. Two max hits. This is amazing. Uh, first time barraging in a while with this ward here. Oh man, I'm getting 70k Slurk an hour. So this task of 150 or so only took me probably like 25 minutes to do. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I think this, uh, this might be the 100th key. Sweet. All right. Now give me this dragon harpoon for the finish, please. We got a hundred and one, so I kind of lied, you know, it's an extra one. Now the goal is mainly dragon arrows, but hey, if I, you know, get some dust pieces, that'd be cool too, you know, some collection log stuff, so. There we go, dragon arrow heads. Oh, dragon dart tips, damn dude, come on. Give me those dragon dart tips, man. I mean, dragon arrow heads, please, no. Please, dragon arrow heads. Yes, 59 of them, let's go. I'm looking for more though, I need more. Wow, so many dragon dart tips. They get so many. Oh, oh, there we go, 100. Yes, 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 come on. Come on, bruh. Go up, go higher, please. 167 is too little. Don't make me go back to Gauntlet. Well, I kind of need the pen anyways, but still. I need them to pop up right now, boy. There it is. 271. Let's go. Very nice. If I can get a thousand, that'd be amazing. Damn, we're like halfway done. And we only have 270. Dragon arrows. Yes! 379. Oh my god. Let's go, boys. 379. That's massive. That's a good amount. Damn, no dust pieces yet? Wow, this would be disappointing if I open 100 of these and not a single dust piece, too. Yes! That was huge! 178 dragon arrow tips. Oh my god. That was fat. Mmm. Whoa, that's a lot of sea turtles. Oh my god. 567. 645. Let's go. 645, boys. If we can get a thousand dragon arrowheads, that would be amazing. It's not going up anymore, boys. 18 left. 17? Oh, there it is. Oh my god. 800. 800, dude. Holy shit. 14 left. 13 left. Come on. Just one more dragon arrowhead, man. That'd be amazing. Come on. Oh, I got it. Dust Mystic Boots. Let's go. We got a, we got a cool collection log item. Cool. It's my first one, I think. Let's see. I don't even know where it is. Here? Is it on this? Oh, it is, yeah. 
Hey, cool. We got our first piece. Took 90 keys, but we got uh, quite a lot of giant arrow tips. Okay, let's keep opening it. All right, let's just drop some stuff and open more. I don't feel like banking right now. Mm, one more dragon arrowhead, please. Come on, one more. Yo, 900. This is good stuff, bro. I'm happy I did a lot of Konar Slayer, dude. <laughs> Another unique item. Okay, I'll take it, dude. That's pretty good. The the hosta. I mean, I guess I'll keep it in my bank, you yeah. know? All right, we'll take it. I got what I wanted. So, this is pretty sick. 100 keys. I managed to get almost 1,000 dragon arrows. So, I am very happy with that. What is that? Uh, 100k? 100k per key on average for me right there. But yeah, the drown arrows though, it's huge. Which part of the fight took too long? Uh, still, what level is this? Still 340 though. Oh, I got a purple though. But let's see. Let's see. Just don't be a dupe, please. Don't be a dupe. Oh my god, it's the fourth ring. Oh hell yeah, more dragon dart tips. Let's go. More dragon dart tips. Let's get it. Oh, there it is. 100 expert KC. Whoa, this is different. This is different. Wow, what the hell was this? Two in one? That's cool. Wow, 3.5k soul runes from that. So I've decided it is time to practice for the 500 because the dragon arrows is here and I don't really feel like waiting to get like Missouri or like a shadow to get something like this done because in the past... I wanted to go for the Inferno Cape, so I was like, okay, I'll get a T-Bow for that. But then, I did like a thousand plus raids, and I didn't get a T-Bow. So I was like, okay, screw it, I'm gonna do the Inferno anyways. So it's the same idea, I don't wanna have to wait for RNG to start this challenge. I wanna go and do it now. I feel like I have what it takes. So let's go and start practicing for the 500. For that cosmetic thing. Oh, we killed it! Yo! Sick boulder, that was a good lore. Accidental lore, by the way. So Baba is definitely one of the simplest bosses to deal with in the level 500 challenge mainly because it doesn't change a whole lot from the level going up other than that the boss just hits you really often through prayer even if you have like Torvon. So there will be some fights where he just shits on you and there's not a whole lot you can do it's just you know a bit RNG but if you do everything properly uh, dodging the things that you can do not getting trolled by the monkeys too much you should be able to clear this boss, from my experience, most of the time without taking too, too much supply loss. But yes, there are times where you're just forced to just leave because you just take too much damage. But of course, people do the red X strat to nullify pretty much all the damage. I don't like that stuff. I don't like using red X to stall the boss and cheese the boss. So, But Baba is definitely one of the simplest ones to have to deal with. What? That's so unlucky! Why would the rock spawn there? <laughs> Why would the rock spawn there? At this point in time, I haven't figured out the optimal rotation in which to do the bosses for the 500 yet. But right now, the goal is to isolate the bosses and just practice each of them as much as I can. So I just decided Baba's probably one of the simpler ones to get used to. And it was actually, it didn't take too long. I was able to start doing back to back kills fairly. Uh, soon after a few hours and yeah i'll just try to practice kefri next because i feel like that is probably going to be one of the hard ones to do so let's see what happens what i'm dead wow okay 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 level four i am not used to okay not at all that attack speed is so fast so kefri is definitely a completely different beast when it is level 500 assuming it's level 4 because compared to every level previous its fireball attack is disgustingly fast it is as soon as you see the shadow it will basically drop the fireball onto the shadow almost immediately so you have to really be good at the timing it's a bit overwhelming at first of course because if you do take a hit without prey mage on which oftentimes you won't have prey mage on it will take anywhere from a 40 to like an 80. So yeah, it's very dangerous. And also, the Dung Balls, their explosion range is, I believe, a 2x2. Two two. So you can't even be like one square away from it. 
without taking damage. That shook me initially because I took damage from the ball, even though I thought I was clear away. So yeah, those things definitely makes this boss a lot more challenging. Damn, this sucks. Oh, so fast. <gasps> what? Oh my god. Oh my god, we finally passed Kefri. Holy shit, that took like almost 10 minutes and it was level 3 as well, so that means yeah, it's gonna get really hard. <laughs> oh my god, Crocodile's already level 5. Level 4 Akka, that's gonna be fricked. I don't even, I've never practiced double trouble with 6 memories, so this is gonna be interesting. So Akka is definitely the hardest part of level 500. At least if you're not going to cheese it with the butterfly strategy that people use that involves tile markers and yeah, just rely on the tile markers to path in a way where the boss essentially just can't hit you for at least up to like a minute. I'm not a fan of these kind of strategies, you know. I just hate having to rely on tile markers to do something. Essentially though, Akka at level 500, assuming again it's level 4 or higher, is an absolute monster. Uh, absolute, absolute monster because you have to do six memories every single time he does his ball specials. And every time he does a ball special, he will also do Simon Says as well. So essentially, if you do it normally, you're going to have to do Simon Says while dodging these special attack balls 10 plus times of fights, which is super daunting because if you fuck up even a little bit on one of those, you probably are dead. You're probably going to cost yourself the entire raid. Black, red, white, red, black. Oh, I'm dead. What? Oh my god. Oh. Whoa, what did you mean? <laughs> All right, we did it. Level four Kefri cleared, although I uh, messed up a lot and I took a lot of damage, which means that. My prayer got destroyed, but it's okay. It's just practice, you know? It's practice. It's good to know. I was able to do it without using any stamina, so that's really good. So one of the hardest aspects with Double Trouble and Feeling Special on at the same time is that you can easily spawn a ball on top of you, which will completely ruin your rhythm and mess up your Simon Says and, yeah, cost you the kill. So the best way to minimize that happening is already just be near the middle if you're not doing the butterfly method. And also, when you're running, run in increments of two steps. Or if you're walking, just make sure you walk one time at a time. And that way, it will reduce the chance of the ball spawn on top of you. But if you're, let's say, you're going back to a quadrant that already has ball spawning. Also, the Simon Says can only go left to right to the next Simon Says. It will never go, like, diagonally. Here's an example of me running a bit haphazardly. I ran unevenly because I ran two steps at a time and then I walked one step after which caused a ball to spawn to me and ruined my entire rhythm nice uh, yeah i'm getting real good at that it takes nine minutes bro to do this room fucking hell nine minutes but look at my supplies though i've cleared baba carefree and i have um we're looking at six restorers father shield so it really just comes down to akka oh akka's level four again of course so far, so good. Oh, fucking hell. Red, black, yellow, white, yellow. Okay. Oh, ho -ho, I'm getting it, boys. So Akka is kind of like our main bottleneck at the moment. And really, there's no point in... I think practicing Kefri anymore or Baba, I feel like I'm really comfortable with those two bosses at the 500 level. So might as well just do Akka starts and yeah, just keep practicing that until I feel really comfortable. It's going to be five Simons instead of six. It's supposed to be six because I'm going to do this boss realistically at level four or five. So it'll be six Simons, but this is still pretty good practice. Like I'll save me a ton of supplies, you know, instead of having to like spend 10 minutes to get there. Every time. Ah, black, yellow, black, red. Oh, 
Damn, okay, that's good practice. Oh, so close. God damn it. I think I would have had it though if I was potted normally, but that was really good. Oh, nice save. <laughs> good save. God damn it. Holy shit, we fucking cleared it. Using two brewers and fucking so many per. But keep in mind, I am not salted. So I think being salted would maybe make it this a lot easier, but I didn't even use the butterfly method either. So this one fight took 11 minutes. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm going to take a hit, but it's okay. One mistake, you know, we can handle that. So I found a really good way to learn how to do the double trouble ball special when Simon says happens together. The best way is to make sure you're generally near the middle. And then when the Simon says happens, make sure you stand on the symbol of the side that is going to be the first attack, right? So let's say is the red. So the red side, the fire symbol, step on the fire symbol. And then once you see the second symbol light up, then put your mouse on the second symbol because that way you've already solved the first and the second time it says so you don't have to pay attention to it too much and you also put yourself in a position that allows you to dodge the balls while you move along and then you just have to focus on the next three to four time it says whatever the level is so that way there's less memorizing and easier pathing setups so that way you can uh, weave in between the sides and not spawn the balls on you Yo, we got it. Okay. All right. We got uh, one restore, one dose, and a, f and a follow their shield. Damn it. I wish I brought my dragon arrows. <laughs> Shit. But honestly, I'm probably going to make a dumb mistake and just die. Is what I'm guessing. Damn, this, this would be nice. This would actually probably get me it. Let's see. I still have... Oh, I still have the adrenaline potion. Ooh, damn, dude. Yo, that'd be sick if we complete this. <laughs> I do need the prayer, though. This will give me everything I need. I do need the prayer so I can survive. We can just drink super combat for the first phase. Obelisk phase, and then we can then use the salt later. Which should hopefully last to the very end. Alright, so... Uh, we're gonna use the Karis Partisan to heal. And we'll use the Adrenaline Potion so that the Karis only use 50% special attack, which means I can use the Karis to heal twice as often as long as I have enough prayer, which I should have enough prayer from the Ambrosia, my prayer potions, and from the Father Shield. Please? Oh, I got it. Oh my god. Thankfully, we got it. Now it is time for me to use my last bit of salt, which means during this time, I can use these brews to stay alive without using my Karis and not have any bad negative side effects because it will reset my stats every 15 seconds and boost my stats back up. I'm just going to brew up just in case. Oof. Yes, I pray melee, just in case. Let's go. Damn, these auto attacks are so fucking strong, man. Oh, really? Oh, oh my god. Fuck, that sucks, dude. Man, I got so unlucky, dude. I couldn't even see it. Damn it, I had to use my Ambrosia. Yes! I had to knock this guy down four times. Now, we're done. Alright, let's go. Best of luck. Sweet. That was really good use of the prayer. I got it back. There it is. The final phase.
No, oh my god, I'm dumb, I'm dumb. 52 HP, oh my god, I'm so dumb. I, I basically had it, and I made a mistake. This was my first full practice run, and we pretty much almost beat it with Amethyst Arrows, so now it's time to use the Dragon Arrows and finally seal the deal. So we have done all the practicing we need for every single boss, and we know we could do it. Now it's time to show you the full battle plan. First things first, the rotation. So the rotation that I'll be doing is really straightforward. It's definitely the best rotation for this. It is Crocodile Boss first, Baba Boss second, Akka third, and Kefri last. So Croc and Baba first and second is super important because of a few reasons. The reason why Crocodile Boss is first is because you can pre-pot a range potion which will last you basically throughout the whole fight. You will be fighting the Croc at Warden as well, but it's at the lowest level so the Croc's attacks will be slow so it's a lot easier to dodge. And then second, we will have Baba. And the reason is because of Warden. We do not want to fight a Baba that's at a higher level if we do it later because it will affect the Warden fight. The boulders will fall down even faster, so doing it second means that it will not go to level 4 or higher, which means the boulders will be a bit slower than what it could be. And of course, third, we have Akka. It's really important that I have salt for Akka, but I can't get salt until I make it past two bosses. And Carefree is last because it's pretty much a free boss. This is definitely the best rotation. You saw that? Oh my god, I had nowhere to go! I almost got hit by that. Oh, fucking hell, dude. It's so hard. Oh, oh, oh. Fucking hate this mechanic, dude. Nice. Okay. Uh, my food, though. But... It's only a level 4 Kefri, so that's nice. A lot weaker Kefri than what I usually fight, so... Okay, here we go. Okay... Two restores instead of, like, the three dose or whatever it was. Much better. Alright, just do not troll this time and we'll be fine. Okay. God, oh, there we go. Let's go. Oh, fuck no. <sighs> yes! Fuck yes! Oh my god, DPS was so Jesus. bad. It took it literally came down to the wire, everything. Holy shit. Oh my god. That's so close. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. I used Dude, everything. Timing, the, everything the I had. The, the timing on the stuff. Oh my god. Holy shit. Dude, I, no, I, just, I just couldn't hit. Holy yeah, crap, yeah, man. So I, just so hard, <laughs> dude. We got it though, yeah, boys. Curse the Phalanx? Uh, oh! That's the pet transmog. Oh, Remnant of Baba too. Oh, sick. Cool. Oh, uh, one of the transmogs. I got the Baba one, I guess, but... Yep. Oh, that was so hard, man. I was like, yeah, I'll wait till Missouri, but honestly, I just couldn't. I, it, like, the thought on my head just told me to get it. Holy, no purple, though. Unfortunately, no purple, but... Yeah. <laughs>
Oh my god, dude. Oh, okay, we just attach it, right? Yes. Nice, we got it. Oh my god. Okay, no more challenges, man. I'm fucking done, dude. I am <laughs> stunned. <laughs> no, more. no more challenges, bro. Until they release new combat diaries for race 3 and have to get this outcome come back again. Dude, so hard at the end, though. There was like nothing yeah, left. We weren't hitting because we only have one like tile to walk on. Yeah, honestly, she just couldn't hit. Honestly. Yeah. Wow. Damn, dude, the D arrows pulled through. Shout out 100 brimstone keys. Oh my god. Mm. Shout out to that. Wait, wait, how do you, wait, you can't equip this. I don't have uh, the pet, so that's cool though. I'll keep this. Maybe I'll get the pet eventually. With the kit, it looks very, like, thorny, right? Because of those edges here. And then this one's kind of like a little. <laughs> All right, okay, I need to see how many deaths I have, bro. Honestly, I have to see this shit. Oh, man. Oh, I have 257 deaths. Okay, that shit's not that bad. Probably less than solo mission. Got him. Oh, I got the blood shard. Let's go. Yay. Ah, I see. I know. Okay, I know how to just turn the direction of the mirror. The mirror will face the direction that your character faced when you drop it. Dude, fuck, I don't know. Bro, what the fucking server lag? Come on!